Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Augustine, Bishop and do Doctor of the Church. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed and merry ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endowed your bishop, St. Augustine, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole fount of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. <clears throat> you recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery, working night and day in order not to burden any of you. We proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and so is God, how devotely and justly and blamelessly we behave towards you believers. As you know, we treated each one of you as a father treats his children, exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the God who called you into his kingdom and glory. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it truly is the word of God, which is now at work in you who believe. The word of the Lord. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink into the netherworld, you are present there. If I take the wings of the dawn and settle at the furthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me and your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall hide me, and night shall be my light. For you, darkness itself is not dark, and night shines as the day. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ. 
Christ. The love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones, and every kind of filth. Even so, on the, on the outside, you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of your prophets, of the prophets, and adorn the memorials of the righteous, and you say, if we had lived, in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus, you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now, fill up what, you, what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the feast day of this great saint, Saint Augustine. And he was a saint who sought the truth, wisdom, and true love with all his strength. And he found them. He found them in Christ, in the Catholic Church. True love, true wisdom. He tried to find them in passion, in the world, in the beauty of the world, in other philosophies and, and ideologies, and he, and he couldn't find them. Only Jesus Christ is the truth and the life, the way to heaven. He is the true love. And this is what we have to imitate from him. It is in Jesus where we find all the love we need, all the affection that we need, and all the knowledge in order to know how to live our lives. Love and true, and true wisdom are the wings that lead us to God. And he wrote many things, but he dedicated all his strength to teach us that love is the only way to attain God, all, who is all good. This is the only way. So let us pray to him, St. Augustine, show me the way to Jesus. Help me to thirst for him. Help me to thirst for true wisdom, true the truth. And help me to renounce to all those things that keep me apart from the Lord. From those beauties that are just images of the true beauty. St. Augustine, give me the fire of your love. So that I may seek Jesus with all my strength. And to fall in love with him. Let me not be um, deceived by the lies of the world, but the, by the lies of my passions. St. Augustine is a testimony that it is possible to find Jesus. We live in, in a society where, is, where there is a lot of confusion. Where is the true religion? Where is the truth? Where is happiness? And there are many options out there. But St. Augustine says to us today, you can only find that in Jesus Christ, in his church. This is the true religion. 
The other religions are attempts to find the true God. But the true God already revealed to us in Jesus Christ, and the true love has been already revealed to us in Jesus Christ. And it is in Him, in Jesus, and in the religion that He revealed to us where we can find the truth and the true love. Let us pray in silence. Brothers and sisters, let us pray for the church, the world, and for one another. <clears throat> for our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, who constantly encourage us to make our lives worthy of God, who call us to his kingship and glory, that they may have the joy of a full response. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> that Christian politicians, political leaders, may make their conduct upright, just, and irreproachable, taking the message of the gospel as truly the word of God living and living by it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us sharing this Eucharist, that we who are filled from within with the presence of Jesus may bring his light and his love to all whom we meet today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear <clears throat> our prayer. For all who are in a time of distress and suffering, that God may give them the strength Give them the strong faith to see that the night shines as the day when it is held in his loving providence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of all who have died, that God's hand might guide them and his right hand hold them safely on their course to the mansions of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our own intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, listen to our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received. The wine we offer you for the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Celebrating the memorial of our, of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Augustine, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us give thanks to God the Father for showing us his love and the truth revealed in Jesus Christ. Let us embrace our Lord and say, Lord Jesus, I want to be united with you. I want to live in you. Help me to seek you with all my strength, with all my heart, with all my mind. Let us say the prayer he taught to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that being made members of, of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.